All right, in this video, I want to show you how to connect interactive brokers to TradeStation strategies through NinjaTrader 8. I get a lot of questions about this. How do I send my TradeStation signals to interactive brokers? This is one way to do it. I like this setup because you can disable automation with one click and still watch your live signals. So here is an example strategy. We call it HFT. I'm going to show you the code for this. This is just a test setup that I use to generate signals on every bar and so that I can make sure it's working. A lot of strategies don't trade frequently, so you don't want to wait a day to see if your signals are actually working, if your setup actually works. So if you want a mock setup that you can run in SIM mode just to check signal uh, transfer and transmission, you can use a coding similar to this where it alternates trades on every other bar. And I have one minute bars. You could obviously go down to one second or one tick bars. That would happen really fast. I don't recommend one tick bars because the orders usually go through so fast it can it can eat up your resources if you have a PC or if you're using Windows uh, aren't typically set up to handle orders on every tick um, that rapidly all day long and so these are one minute bars alternating from long to short every other bar it's not a tradable strategy um, but it is a strategy that we can use to test signal transmission to make sure it is set up correctly um, and so you want to be able to test things. And so I have a SIM account at Interactive Brokers, and so sometimes I'm still getting these errors right here in Interactive Brokers. I want to disregard those right now. That's simply based on delayed data and uh, a SIM account. And so we have the strategy. We call it HFT, alternates long, short, every other trade. And what you need to do in TradeStation is you need to create a trade manager window click on trading apps go to trade manager you click trade manager and you go um, right here you click on the trade manager window once you created it already have it and we go to view uh, trade manager preferences and you go down here to um, orders and you want to make sure that strategy active order canceled order filled order replaced order are all um, all have this enable email notification so each each time you click on that you get this little email notification if you uncheck it goes away if you check it I have all four of these ideally um, or in reality you, you really only need strategy field order but I have these four selected to go by the book and then configure you want to select on your enable email notification configuration you can choose any email address. This is just a mock email address. It's not going to anywhere, not going to anyone, and it's a local host, which means on your own computer. You're not sending this email out. You're not broadcasting an email. This is just a local host. Then you can select once your NinjaTrader platform is set up to receive this. When you select test, you'll get your your message has been sent. So I'm going to leave this open right now. I'm going to go to NinjaTrader and show you how to set this up. And so I'm pulling up the NinjaTrader Control Center here. You can see um, some various SIM SIM trades going on. These are all SIM SIM accounts and tests. And so we go to um, Tools and we go to Options. I selected the wrong thing. Tools, Options, and you want to go to Automated Trading Interface. And so I have the AT interface clicked and so if you want to disable trading between uh, TradeStation and any NinjaTrader connected broker you can unselect this you can deselect this or you can um, go into TradeStation and, and change the email setup that we just looked at and then you can still see the signals in TradeStation so if you have a you know 20 strategies you're watching you don't have to disable all the strategies you can still watch those strategies if you simply disable this, it will not be it will not be received by NinjaTrader. So if you want to manually exit but still watch your strategies, this is the button. This is the check mark to uncheck. And so, um, server port 36973 default account. You need to have that. This is your interactive brokers account. This is a SIM account, and so you can see uh, you can select different accounts. Um, one important thing to note in TradeStation is that your workspace should have the word NinjaTrader included in that. And so make sure your workspace includes NinjaTrader. I want to show you that here in a second. Um, let's see. TradeStation email interface, you want to enable that. And I like to submit market order on TS fills. So I'm just looking at um, market orders. As soon as a strategy reports an order in TradeStation, then I'm sending a market order. You could submit it as is, 
and then if you submit it as is you need to make sure that um, all of these things are checked as well for for less technical errors and not worrying about having to and not worrying about limit orders that aren't filled I prefer to submit the order as is if you see a signal in trade station you get the signal sent in, act, in interactive brokers and so um, so also I want to show you that, that the workspace what must the include um, the, with the word ninja trader ninja trader in it I want to show you that real quick so I've moved this window up where you could see I've called this ninja trader um, there's several different ways to name this if you have multiple accounts you can also name those accounts and set those up um, so they can you can trade multiple accounts and you don't have to worry about that default account that we looked at you can override that with the workspace name where you put a semicolon account equals and then type in the account name and so that's important that you have this word ninja trader with spelled spelled just like this in the past I put the T the capital T um, and that did not work it has to be a small t uh, uppercase n and the rest small case and so make sure that your workspace has ninja trader in it as is so back to ninja trader tools options and so um, let's see automated trading strategies and the server port 36973 AT interface and then the account number if you don't have interactive brokers set up uh, you need to make sure you set it up in your connections and so you want to go into uh, configure and then for example interactive brokers you have to make sure that your username is correct um, you can connect to the IB gateway or trader workspace uh, I'm, I'm using the TWS in this example and then port of the TWS is 7497 I'm going to show you how to check that in a minute make sure you have the right port selected so all right I'm gonna go over to interactive brokers now and show you the setup that I have going on over there if I can pull that into this window okay here it is so for some reason I have this delayed data and it's it's not sending all the orders it should be uh, net long one and so these buy orders will eventually catch up but because of the delayed data um, in this uh, interactive broker sim account that I just set up I need to figure out why it's not um, executing all the orders right now this would not happen in, in a real live account it's just happening in a sim account with delayed data right now so um, what you need to do in this setup is you need to go to uh, configure let's see, con let's see configure and then you go to API and you go to settings and you need to make sure you have active X and sockets checked I unchecked read only and this is a socket port that we saw in ninja trader um, I've had this at 7496 before and it's currently at 7497 and so I make sure that it was at 7497 in ninja trader and so those are the settings that you want to have and then you can test it you can test this setup um, by watching your trade station signals go through to um, ninja trader and you can see the position you can also go to your accounts and see see where you where you are in your accounts um, at uh, interactive brokers and your ninja trader at the bottom you can look at your positions it's long 11 in this account it shouldn't be that way um, but it's kind of stuck right now because uh, I keep getting this error and I'll have to research this error um, based on a sim account with delayed data but this is the setup this is the setup that you need uh, moving forward and it'll work transactionally speaking um, make sure you have a good strategy don't use the strategy that we're using here um, but all the signals will go through once you resolve these interactive brokers delayed data simulated trading errors so that's the setup for sending that's how you would send orders from TradeStation to interactive brokers through NinjaTrader 8 or you could connect any other brokerage platform that connects to NinjaTrader 8 and I love this setup once again because you can easily disable you can easily disable the trading and still watch the trades in TradeStation by going to tools options and then automatic trading interface and unchecking that and then um, still watching your strategies trade so in other in other um, in TradeStation you either have to uh, log off or disable all the automated strategies and then watch them maybe in a sim account and another platform 
Um, but having to enable or disable uh, 20 strategies or more or even five strategies or more is time consuming. And so this can be a more efficient way and one of the benefits and one of the, one of the reasons why I like this setup so much.